Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video, let's work with the validation. Because right now, here we are in the post create page. And if I say store, yeah, we have this error. So let's validate the data we sent through this form. And if we have some errors, we can display the message right here. Okay, so let's open the VS code for that. And when we store, we can validate the data using the request validate. So let's say dollar sign data, or we can say validated data, or just validated. And it's going to be blue with request and chaining the validate method on that request. And inside we have an array with the key and the value. Now the key is the name of the input. In this case, we have input with name title and the text area with a name content. For that here, we say the key for title and the value is the rule. In this case, we have applied the rule to be required and pipe. This is a new rule, max 255. So it's going to be maximum of 255 characters for the content we have only one rule, which is required. Okay, also we can add them in the in an array. So here, we can add an array. And instead of something like this, we can do something like this, okay? And you can add as many as you want. Also here, for example, you can add an array. Let's save now. And here, when we create, instead of passing this title and the content, we just need to say dollar sign validated. And now we are OK. Let's save. I'm going to open also the table plus and show you we have for posts right now. Let's go back. And if I refresh, store, nothing. But if we type something, so let's say just uh, post number five and something inside, store, we returned back. And if I open and refresh, we have here post number five. Okay, but what if I go to create, I, as I told you, I want to display the message if we store here and the validation fails. How we can do that? Let's go to create. And for example, above here, we can say we can make a for each blade directive for each and we can say dollar sign errors. We have these errors if we have any error from the validation. And we say for each errors, all, get all errors. As dollar sign uh, error. And let's display that error in a span. Okay, I'm going to. And let's display that error in a span with a class text red 500 and let's save. Just we need to cut this and check if we have any error. Okay, so we can say if dollar sign errors any and then put this because if we don't have any error and make this voice is going to have the error. Let's open this and refresh. Right now we don't have any error, but if I say store, the title field is required and the content field is required. Okay, so if I type only the title and hit store again, now we have only the content is required. Okay, now if you prefer to display the error under the input, so the title error to be under the title input and the content error to be right here, we have also a blade directive. So instead of something like this, we can add, so here we have this div for the input, we have a label and 
for the title sorry we have the label and the input of the title and right here after the input I'm going to add error blade directive and here we specify the name of the input which is title and the error for the title okay so here we have validation for the title and if we have any error let's display in a span again with the text red 500 and also let's say a text to be small now if i save that come here and refresh if i say store as you can see the title field is required we have right here and let's do the same thing for the content so after the text area i'm going to paste that in just change this to be for the content and we just say message here okay and that's it now let's come here and refresh store yeah the title field is required and the content field is required okay also let's say we want the title to be I'm going to add right here minimum of uh, let's say five characters and the same for the content minimum of 10 and let's say come here and refresh just three characters here and more than five in this one but less than 10 if i say store we have the title field must be at least five characters and the content field must be at least 10 characters okay also we can do more for example here on the input let's zoom it a little bit out so you can see we have here focus border blue 500 so when we focus here i want also when we have an error to be focus to be a uh, border red so we can do right here i'm going to say if we have error for the title i want to add border let's say red 500 okay now if i come here and refresh let's store now we have here also border red as you can see and we can do the same thing on the let's copy just this one on the text area so on the class just we need to specify this is for the content and i go here refresh now if i store we have also a border at and that's it all about this video friends what i wanted to show you if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much